live from, from New York oh. <laughs> at 2 p.m., 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. No, Friday. It's Merlin's Chamber. Hello, everyone. We have a new set. It's a little bit improved. Every week, you're going to see an improvement. That's true. That's a promise. Uh Oh. Wrong button. Oh, and Anissa and I switched spots, so I might fuck that up a couple mm. times, even I, though I said before I would not fuck it up. Yeah. Wow, that dog is baking. Merlin is, he's a little eepy, as the as the Gen Zers would say, because he uh, had his rabies and distemper and uh, lepto and man all the all the shots. So now he's tired, but he doesn't Man, know how to get comfortable. He is so ugly. Okay, what? Put the... a fucking. Is there an ugly emoji that they could put in the comments? No. To support him. Ian says that he's a ham sandwich. To support him on his journey, which is true. Merlin is uh, the most ham sandwich dog I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he needs a lot of help. Oh my god, he's limp. <laughs> yeah, well, he's really tired. He's and I think he's like trying to like get. Comfortable. comfortable yeah I'm trying to like give him frog he's trying to like use frog as a pillow it's kind of depressing pass him a section of fat uh, one of my fat or yeah like, <laughs> yeah put him yeah put him on my scrape it down yeah. put him on my love handle <laughs> prop him up on my love handle um he's chewing on a frog but yeah we uh man what have we been up to uh, Given we've our been... dog pseudo diseases with shots. Yeah, we've been getting giving him pseudo diseases. Uh, I mean, he's been doing great. We're in full 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 born training. Um, uh, we have a little squirt bottle that we use for training. Yeah, when he's really not listening. Yeah, if we really need to make it clear that he shouldn't eat strange objects on in the ground. Public, yeah, that's the big uh, one. We got to make it clear, like, hey, this shit is meant for. The crows, and even the crows <laughs> probably shouldn't need it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's been doing really well. He went to the pet store for the first time. Uh, made a lot of friends there. Um, it's fucking annoying though to deal with people. Mm. The for it makes so much sense why dogs are all so poorly Excitable. behaved in general with the excitement and jumping on people. Yeah, these fuckers like are not interested in helping you train the greater good. Yeah, well, they're not it's interested weirdly in selfish. You train. Yeah, I mean, it is you're listen, we I, live I shouldn't in say a weirdly hell... selfish. It's very selfish. We live in a hellhole. Okay, if you see a puppy, you're going to take that time to take in all the dopamine you can get. Yeah, I get it. But when I'm walking by people's dogs, like puppies or uh, just regular fucking full size dogs that might be aggressive or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, what is the best way that I can desensitize this dog to my presence mm -hmm. and not make it hard for the owner? Mm -hmm. Like I'm very focused on that when when they're puppies or anything around. Yeah. And I it just makes me mad that other people aren't that way. You know they're that fucking looking at your their, your dog <laughs> I was gonna and say... smiling at them and getting really enthusiastic. I was and it's gonna like, say like I haven't given you fucking permission to be that way. You know the Jim Carrey Grinch meme? It's like, don't oh. hype up the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey when he's like, like in the going camera, crazy. Like, yeah. yeah, like going like, ah. Rah, rah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Merlin likes it. Yeah. Um, but that's what it uh, reminds me of is like everyone, like mm -hmm. vets, vet techs. Dude, the vet. The pet store. The vets and vet techs are the worst. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you get to see him. You know, once a year or whatever, cool. Yeah. I have to live with the fucker. <laughs> He's not that bad. I think Ian No, but that's how it that's how it gets worse. Yeah, but we we're working on it. We get him to sit we're you know, asking people to like We're wait working on it, but it's like, it's man, it's it's tough. I don't want to rain on people's parades. Fuck like it's easy. Them. No, it's easy. Listen, our it's life not, is a lot less no fucking monotonous and shitty and boring than somebody who has to fucking clock in at their like job if they see a puppy okay they're they're just allowed to get hey, a little excited just do it when you take him out of the waiting room and you take him back there to get his shots oh away from you yeah so i can't see, see it. it this is okay here's the the i think the reason why ian is um 
the way that he is about this. <laughs> uh, our Rottweiler loves people. She loves people. Uh -huh. And I think that gets people really hyped. And uh, every like person who's worked with her, whether it's like somebody who's at the doggy daycare or like a vet, like they love indulging in her human excitement, love and excitement, yeah. which leads to her jumping up and head punching people by accident. And it's fucking dangerous. Yeah. And I and I get that. We now have a Rottweiler who he she doesn't do it to us. But yeah. she'll anyone who She's wants so to say hide her, around us, yeah. like the most she'll do is like wiggle back and forth. Yeah. When we come home. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's another thing when she sees new people. New, new people, people are the coolest thing to her. We're just like different people. Like even our we have a trainer that we work with now. Um, first we got the trainer because uh, Fiona was not as receptive to the puppy as we had hoped. Yeah, uh, she was actually terrified of uh -huh. of Merlin. I and we were so fucking nervous. Yeah, we were not about. Like, because I wasn't anticipating it. I told Anissa, I was like, <laughs> "Sorry, she's going to be so happy. Fiona is going to be so happy. Yeah. A Rottweiler. She's going to be so happy to have a new friend. And she's going to have all these motherly instincts. And she's going to give him kisses. <laughs> I like, I was so out of my depth yeah. in, in saying that shit. Because I was wrong. Yeah, she was terrified of, of him. Like, legitimately, like, was panting. Uh, drooling, like so anxious. I felt mm -hmm. so bad. The first night that we had uh, Merlin and Fiona in the house together, I felt like we had made the, the biggest mistake. Yeah, the biggest mistake. Um, Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah, so we got a trainer like right away. Um, and Fiona loves, they love each other now. Actually, Fiona's like shockingly patient with him. Mm -hmm. Like he'll put full on paws on her face and like will like. Yeah, he's very rude. He's very rude. And she's she they play and they're good together now. But the first two weeks, I would say, yeah, were terrifying. And uh, so we got a, a trainer right away. And when the trainer comes in to like work with because now we're just working with Fiona's like excitement issues and like, you know, trying to give Merlin the best start uh, when she sees him, she, it's up mm -hmm. right in his face like bops him right in the face every yeah. single time. I feel so bad because she's she is such a sweet dog, but she yeah. just, I don't know. She just doesn't. Yeah, she's a little dense. Yeah, she's a little dense. Um, but man, is she a loving dog and people take advantage of it and then she punches people. Yeah. In the but mouth. it is fun. I mean, our situation could be a lot worse. I'm actually yeah. so happy, so grateful yeah. that we have two, uh, you know, well-functioning dogs they get along with people they get along with other dogs mm -hmm. so like that's all i could hope for because i had two labs that were they were nightmares they just didn't get along with they got along with people but they didn't yeah. like other dogs um and they were litter mates and they were just oh, man they were just such a hassle to deal with yeah litter mate uh, syndrome and particularly real. because we didn't address things early on yeah. uh when they were puppies um yeah. just didn't because that's like the most important time you can solidify a lot of good behaviors and if you let that time slip past or you're just too busy yeah it's like phew, that's it's it becomes more of an uphill battle well yeah i'm uh neurotically mm -hmm. like into training puppies which yeah. is why uh i think i would be like a big like uh adopt uh don't like, shop yeah if i wasn't so like into the fundamentals of raising a puppy mm -hmm. and giving a puppy like the most secure loving environment like that does something for my brain i don't have the confidence in myself to train and rehabilitate a an adult dog that has set mm -hmm. uh issues that he they need help with yeah like i wish i was i wish i had the confidence but mm -hmm. i I don't. I like run through all the things that could go wrong, yeah. and I'm just not the right person. I mean, I for think that. with time, we might be uh, adopters. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, Anissa and I have talked about it, and it is one of those things where it does feel like that's. I want to get to the point where I can be a uh -huh. confident adopter. My worst fear is that I adopt a dog because here's the thing like, uh, and it, I'm not, I'm a huge advocate for adopting. I think people who adopt are like amazing, but. When you adopt a dog, how they show 
like what their uh, traits are in the shelter mm -hmm. is not guaranteed what you're going to get at home. Yeah. And what I'm terrified of is like adopting a dog thinking like, okay, here's a set of things that I can, you know, give this dog a good life. And then I bring the dog home. And then within a couple months, I'm like way out of my depth. And I, and I'm just giving this dog like a mm -hmm. terrible. Yeah like life. Yeah, I think it's uh, appropriate to recognize it as a different type of challenge. Yeah, it's a different type of challenge. And if you're ready for that challenge, it's awesome. And if you feel like you understand, you know, dog uh, development, develop, and well, and, and just dog psychology, yeah, I think that's a big part psychology. of it. We're like, you cannot understand do dog psychology very well and raise like a very decent, healthy yeah. uh, puppy into adulthood. Yeah. Um, if you just start on start very early on and you're just very routine about yeah. what they're getting and meeting all their needs. You don't even know what needs uh, are not being met are or not being met. Yeah. Yeah. What they've been neglected with yeah. or not or abused or like, I with, don't know, uh, with an adopted dog. Yeah. But I do admire people who uh, adopt. It's yeah. um, I'd be curious to learn more about it because I just don't it, there's a lot of question marks where it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know, like, if there is um, something like, because obviously, I feel like there's a lot of people who would maybe go into a shelter and be like, oh, I want to get a fucking young dog. I want to get a fresh mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. that still has, um, you know, who hasn't been, I don't know, uh, a lot of their mentality, yeah. like, uh, solidified. Yeah. Um. But at the same time, like there are clearly a lot of uh, middle aged to senior dogs mm -hmm. who maybe are just the product of uh, like a dead owner. I or know. All sorts of shit like that. Yeah. And that breaks my heart. I'm like, well, this is like probably a decent dog yeah. that just wants to live a calm, healthy, happy yeah. life. And those are potentially like the most ideal pick yep. for people who want something that's a low maintenance mm -hmm. and just going to be a buddy around the house. It's just so hard to like check any of that and get a vibe for it. Yeah. Because yeah, you're not fostering so the dog in a shelter. I guess like that is like the best way probably to adopt if uh -huh. you are not confident in your um, like abilities to rehabilitate maybe right. like a reactive dog or whatever is to foster. Right. And like the dog that you foster, if you find one that like, is you know because mm -hmm. like i if we were to adopt right because i do eventually want a, i want a <laughs> I third dog we have this like hammer yeah. just kind of laying out <laughs> <laughs> that's for the, the pictures. it's for the paintings not for cracking skull it <laughs> if we were to uh adopt which i do i want a third dog eventually and mm -hmm. i feel like adopting would be a great thing to do yeah um i would want a middle-aged to senior dog mm -hmm. i wouldn't personally want a younger dog yeah. because we've done mm -hmm. that yeah and like i i just feel like it might be i could see it maybe being rewarding in the same way that getting a puppy and seeing its personality mm -hmm. like shine and develop totally. over time yeah you're like kind of meeting a stranger and they had they're maybe a little bit more set in their ways yeah. but figuring out all in the ways in which you know, yeah. their set would be very funny and that's potentially the other interesting. Thing. Like that's what I. That's the the uh, something that I forgot as well. Like something else that I really worry about is like if you were living in your house and then like God came and like plopped a stranger in your house, like a forty year old stranger, and was like, "This is your brother now." Yeah. Um. Oh, that's, that's particularly hard. hard for like um. So a I, fresh dog. Yeah. Or like, I mean, like one of your existing dogs. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Like the established dogs. Like I do, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that like Fiona, especially because Merlin is very, he just loves everything yeah. and everyone. But like Fiona, I, I know that like, I would just worry about, I don't want to put yeah. two people together, two dogs, mm -hmm. not two people, but two dogs together that like. Also, you have to be like, I am not like, I'm an anxious person around dogs, at yeah, least right are. now. Um, Which I hope your to get. fault. Yeah. Like, I, just to shed some light on it, like Ian's labs were the type of reactive where there was zero dog communication that they were about to go off. Buck wild. Yeah. 
And that's very like that I makes had it never sound, uh, not bad when I say buck wild. They would attack other dogs. Yeah. <laughs> without yeah. any like indication. No warning, no indication. Um, and it's hard. It was so similar to like just general anxiety or like excitement and they there'd be some stiffness yeah uh, sometimes there'd be like a tail lifting but then i'd see other dogs that kind of have a high tail yeah and they're perfectly fine so it's not like a, a concrete rule a lot yeah. of these dog body language things yeah so i just felt like completely lost i was like i i don't fucking know so the only hard. thing i can do that's safe is to keep them away from other dogs yeah and they uh, this was family labs, not like your, no, not my personal. Um, but like they, I think really did something to your brain because even like Fiona, like she's never, she's like the nicest dog ever, but you're, mm -hmm. you, there's this fear that I can tell is there. And like, it makes me sad because like I, yeah, I would really like to adopt. I think it's just unfortunate mm -hmm. that like there's emotional baggage. Yeah. It's um, something to get over though. And I, I, I will say that uh, Merlin and Fiona have sort of helped me like heal yeah. in that way. Yeah. Uh, because I was fucking nervous when Fiona first, when we first brought Merlin home, mm -hmm. and she would be really fucking nasty, mm -hmm. and she would just like, wow, like big reaction. Yeah. I was like, fuck, this dog does not know how to communicate. Yeah. Definitely doesn't like this puppy. Yeah. And I don't know if this is bad for the puppy. Obviously, we didn't have them, like, face-to-face -face interacting. No. It was always either, you know. In uh, a crate. In a crate. Merlin or, was in his crate. Uh, in the and pen. then Fiona would decide if she wanted to go over and mm -hmm. interact with Merlin. And she would get close. And then Merlin would look at her. And then she would fucking, like. Yeah. Which was, like. I was like, oh, my God. But it's very normal. It it's took, like, all a week. normal. Yeah, we, we were very diligent mm -hmm. in immediately seeking, like, some answers. Yeah. And obviously, everyone's got a different experience with it. Some people are so lackadaisical. And they're I like, <laughs> they'll figure the shit out. Like, uh, the kind of, like, uh, pets as, like, livestock slash yeah. working animals. You know what else, There's, though? They're the mentality of, like, They'll pick a hierarchy. They'll figure it out amongst yeah. themselves. <laughs> That's a shocking one, but the even more shocking one now realizing what it was like to introduce Merlin and Fiona together is, you know, those video clips of like people putting a puppy in like a box, like a wrapped box, and then opening the box oh, for the adult dog. Yes. That is like. That blows my mind. That's Every terrifying. time I see those videos, I'm like, you're fucking stupid. Yeah, that you're is fucking stupid. So not what okay are you doing? To do That's not how you introduce dogs. <laughs> yeah. You're lucky. You're 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 lucky. Yeah. You're no, lucky. legit, actually. I mean, and especially for like a Rottweiler, you know, <laughs> she's huge. Imagine if we did that with Merlin. <laughs> we put him in a little fucking <laughs> Fiona would immediately like bare her teeth and fucking, fucking yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if there's a reason why you don't even see like uh, videos of those going wrong is because why would you upload them? No, that's oh, true. That's a yeah. great point. But that's sad then because <laughs> other people don't learn. Like people only see the true. positive. True. Yeah. So they're like, oh, this is it's guaranteed. It's such a good. movie ask bullshit thing yeah. to do. No. I hate that. Yeah. Ah. There's bad. a lot of those things with dogs that you see in movies that are just like, no, that's not real. Yeah. Like even like I. I don't think I'm ever going to be a dog park uh, person. Advocate? Yeah, yeah. advocate. Because there was a period <laughs> where, like, we, like, took Fiona and Blitz to the dog park. And it was yeah. fucking sick. We loved the dog park. We did. It was great. But, like, over time, like, unless you're, like, super structured with your dog mm -hmm. and the dog part is like park is like a treat and even then it's like you're still rolling the dice mm -hmm. for like who's f at the dog park yeah it, it's, that's it, what I, I always think about blitz got his ass <laughs> literally handed to him oh my god this one time it was the most <laughs> horrific thing we, we went to this dog park in vista all the time and there was this guy that was always there with his like lab, lab pit bull mix, mix. yeah and, and he would go around and he was like smacking it on its butt, you know, doing like old man things. And it had this like frisbee thing that yeah. it wanted to play tug of war with all the other dogs. And so we were like, oh, this guy's like involved. Mm -hmm. Like he's, you know, hovering around his dog. Like, you know, the dog wants to play tug of war with Blitz. <laughs> and Blitz oh. loves playing tug of war. Oh. So we let him play tug of war with this dog. And suddenly 
Blitz just like knew they were they were being respectful. They were like on total other ends of the frisbee, right? Tug of warring with each other, and all of a sudden, Blitz like kind of just like got this look in his face, like oh, this is bad. Yeah, and he let go and he turned to run away, and this fucking dog ran at him and grabbed his literal <laughs> ass and tossed him. Yeah, it was literally ass. tossed him through the air. Yeah, like through. The air. It was fucked up. It was so the little fucked. bit of skin at the back of like Blitz's. Ass. Yeah, the he little rub grabbed that skin. and just fucking threw it. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this this live pit bull mix is of like a new beast. Yeah, I've never like, seen that before. Yeah. It was so horrific. And I never we we were like, what the fuck do we do? The only thing I knew was like, don't make it a big deal for your dog, because if you make it a big deal in the right. moment, yeah. it will like remember that and it can like become reactive. Yeah. Sorry, Merlin's snoring. Bro's snoring up a storm. I don't know if you can hear it. Hold on. <laughs> Pig. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's great. Um, he usually doesn't snore. I think he's just super conked because of the meds. No, his neck is on my arm. Okay. So, so it's he's like a causing little restricted. A, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the dog park, you just never know. We've gone to so many at this point um, that like... I, like you can tell that there are like regulars, mm -hmm. and if you're the like some regulars at a dog park, I would say they they're probably the ones to keep the dog park like awesome. Yeah, here's the uh, thing. Or they're the ones to keep the dog park shit because they're like, well, we we own this place. Yeah, no. Here's the thing. When the other regulars leave, mm -hmm. if somebody new comes in and the regulars leave, you know to leave. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Because someone's showing up. Someone's showing up that problem. they know is a problem. Yeah. So you have to like pay attention to that shit. There was this one time also <laughs> in this. I think stuff, I know what you're gonna refer the, to. The guy who came in with his um his dog with his... The big balls. <laughs> the pit bull that he was like, My dog will kill your dog. Oh, yeah, okay. And that's the one I'm thinking that, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this guy who like it's etiquette to like wait, you know, you there's like a two gate kind of yeah, yeah. area where you a loading come in, zone loading zone contamination zone yeah and you wait until the person's gone before you enter and this guy would not like he didn't wait and just like brought his dog in while somebody was in there while their dog was like because some dogs are leash reactive okay this dog clearly like wasn't having a good time and so she was like can you like leave or like can you just give me some space and he's like my dog could kill your dog my dog's a pit bull it'll yeah. kill your dog and it's like what he was screaming it was yeah like, it was it was so loud it caused such a scene and everyone pretty much like left, left. after that yeah it was just super uncomfortable because how do you fucking interact with someone after What's that you kind just of don't that to say yeah it's so shitty too because like I, I'm a big pit. I yeah, love pit I bulls. I think they're such sweet dogs. But when there's weirdos like that out there, it's like no wonder there's so many like mm -hmm. pit bull haters. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because that guy exists. <laughs> yeah. My dog will kill you, dog. It. Uh, <laughs> it's so interesting as well. Like the amount of like insecurity and like like just like that guy had so many issues yeah for sure yeah. from the jump yeah and it's like that is such a complicated when you think about it like like this guy would have a hard time interacting with regular people mm -hmm. uh doing a little task or a chore yeah like the fact that he's like put that on himself as well is like going to the dog park yeah it's like don't do that just fucking walk your dog because you're not equipped for it yeah you're if not you a... can't calmly like uh like figure out the situation yeah. and like because stay level headed dog, listen dog altercations happen yeah like altercations with people happen yeah. at dog parks and if you're not like stable enough to not escalate it to my dog will kill your dog yeah <laughs> you probably shouldn't be at a dog yeah. park Man. like that was that was a lot it sure. is cool though it makes me want to go to dog parks just as like a hobby in mm -hmm. my spare time oh like a dog park uh on a sewer foyer. uh yeah like okay. uh, i should go to dog parks like rate them <laughs> mm. um Rate the pedability. I'm not going to rate the pedability. <laughs> no, I'm going to rate the people, okay. the culture of the dog park yeah. that I go to. Yeah. Um, uh, and just what I'm seeing, what kind of fucking Here's bullshit. Here's what I've noticed. I think it's going to differ all over the place. Yeah. I think dog parks that have 
little dog sections and big dog sections That's are more mean. toxic, uh, in oh, my opinion, than dog parks that are just dog parks. Because if you're going somewhere where you're like oh, that's like, true you need the separation <gasps> that's something i remember yeah, when we went a big okay. dog or a small dog then something's yes yeah there's a that's yeah a dog there's a reason segregation. why you go there yeah dog segregation it's fucked up let your so, chihuahua interact with the rottweiler uh when <laughs> they have their we own went... drinking fountains and stuff <laughs> they oh do. they do dane yeah they do <laughs> you literally do yeah. yes they have uh one that up. is like fucking like really low to the ankles yeah. and then there's one like mid really mid high height. for mm-hmm. real like a toddler or a for a real dog <laughs> for a real man's dog <laughs> for a real man's dog that could kill your dog <laughs> <laughs> uh no but the i remember taking blitz into the, the small. small dog area. Mm-hmm. And Blitz, is, he's like a fucking 25 to 30 pounder. He's a 25 pounder. Yeah, but max. if he has a couple more meals and you don't no, know. No, 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 no. 30 pounder. 25 pounder max. Okay, okay. So that was his max. He's a 25 pounder max. <laughs> and uh, when we take him in there, there's some of these people who have like Yorkies and shit who are like little fucking. Yeah. Cop, little fucking little. Yeah. Little guys. Yeah. Little and sweeties. yeah, their owners, some of them, obviously not all of them, but there was an occasional like side eye, you know. I know. Sort of, like, this they were is mad too much. that Blitz was in there. Yeah. Being a, a freaking. That Blitz used to freaking be a bullfighter. <laughs> what the hell? Genetically. <laughs> nice. Let him, let, let him, him rip. Let him rip. Let that damn dog rip. Let him rip on your Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> Let him rip on your Yorkie. No, but it was one of those things no, where yeah. Blitz was so, like, he got tossed up so many times. Yeah. Oh, Fiona's going buck wild. Sorry. Um, Probably like a FedEx guy. Yeah, we're going to have to come up with something for that. Oh, you know, if a we landscape. A Goldberg landscaped machine. The... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, like, when it, the it thing goes It drops a down, rock on Fiona's it, head. It drops an once. anvil. <laughs> <laughs> And then she gets a goose egg. Okay. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a big old lump. Yeah. Oh, that's fuck. You're smart. That's why I married you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. Man, oh, that's so distracting. Blitz. We were talking about Blitz. Yeah. He, he, in the big dog park, yeah. he would get owned. Yeah. Dogs would trample all Literally over him because they create him. the dog uh the Tornado. dog hurricane. Yeah. Or tornado, or tornado, or collect a bunch of dogs, and there'd be the eye of the storm, which is some fucking greyhound or a border collie or some shit <laughs> that would just be dictating where the storm goes. Yeah, and Blitz would just be kind of, you know, they're minding his, his own business, looking around like this, and all of a sudden, bam! <laughs> That's how he got his hit by a bike snap. too. He got yeah, hit by true. a bike that way as well. He doesn't Blitz. He was here for a. a Good time, not a long time. Yeah. He wasn't really paying attention. Actually, now that I think about it, no. He he actually actively paid attention to it, which is why he got owned so often. Well, he was a His police attention... man. He was a policeman. He wanted yeah. to get in there. Yes, he wanted to break it up. Yeah. But he's like, oh, this, these are some big guys. Yeah. I don't know if I want to get involved, but he'll stay locked on until he gets mowed yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he was watching... And waiting, and then he just gets fuck trampled. Which was whatever, right? Like, fine, you know, he deals with it. He learned to kind of move out of the way, sort of. But we took him into the small dog park because we were like, well, maybe this is like what we're mm-hmm. supposed to do with him. But he's an active guy, and he'll sp- he's very fast. He was very fast, and he loved playing tug of war with mm-hmm. other dogs, and. There were people who would take their dogs into the small dog park because just they... Just to fucking sit there. Just to sit there. Literally just to sit there. Yeah. And if Blitz wanted to go interact with their dogs, then, you know, that was a problem to them. Yeah. You know, because Blitz was too big. Uh-huh. But he wasn't too big. He wasn't too big. Uh, but, you know, they wanted they wanted some protections. He had some big dog yeah. energy. Yeah. Man, he was a hoot. Yeah, he was a hoot. Uh, but uh, I guess bringing it back to he the... <laughs> Uh, the concept of adopted uh, dogs. If yeah. you guys do have um, some experience with uh, adopting dogs, give us some. Uh, yeah, please share insight. some deets. Yeah, because I re- uh, for our third dog, which I really do eventually want, I want to adopt. Yeah, and I just want to make the right decision for them and for us, and for. Well, yeah, Rowan and, and yeah. Also, I want to hear from people who've actually like you know 
been in it, been through it, you know, who's, you know, you're not on your, on your, uh, you just got one. Yeah. You know, I want to know what it's like yeah. to, you know, go through Living. the whole life cycle. Mm-hmm. Man, is, oh. it, is y'all's place like uh, big enough to, <laughs> to have two, to have three dogs? Uh, I mean, it depends what kind of dog. To be honest, like, I don't. I really. He's a senior. I really don't think it is not in its current state. I think we'll need some, maybe some re- renovation. Yeah, I feel like you if he's a, a dog senior room? or yeah. like a like a small. small yeah, I it just I I already get worried. Like we have so many steps, like in and out of yeah, our house true. and yeah. in the house, uh, that even for the dogs we currently have, it's like a lot of effort, and the space is very small. Yeah. No, that's true. Um, but eventually, yeah, it'd be sick. I would like to adopt yeah. eventually. Um, now, Dane has been working on our uh, let's plays for this channel. Uh, we yeah, have finally got around to it. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna come out we were... this week, Monday. Woo! When did Same we record time? those? Uh, ages ago. November. Yeah, yeah, but when? No, not November. Really? No way. No, because no, I think we were podcast in like November. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think it was like at the beginning of the year. I just don't remember. If it was like January, February, Probably somewhere around January. There. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, all of our jokes are um, January specific in the in the let's <laughs> play. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the only dated thing is you sometimes mention Blitz as if he's still uh, here. But that's oh, it. fuck, Dane. Way to depress us. No, don't listen to you. Don't feel bad. That's <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> I just talked about Blitz for like an hour. <laughs> Way to make us sad, Dane. Um, it looks like the lighting on you is so much better than it is on me. I think I'll have to b- boost this. Well, mm. I don't have I don't have any like lighting knowledge. Like, I, I didn't. This is just a webcam. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I meant uh, Anissa. Me. Oh, oh. Yeah. But maybe you can Sorry. tell me. Does it look? Because you, you're fucking... Yeah, yeah. Anissa has more light on her. More light. Ha. But that's okay, because it makes you kind of look a little bit more like a Mysterious. like an evil character. Yeah, evil guy. You're evil guy. I'm angelic mm-hmm. with my poochie. <laughs> my angelic But poochie. also, she's wearing she's wearing lighter clothes, which True. reflect light. Oh. So, I mean, try, try wearing lighter clothes next time, and you might see a difference. Maybe I'll see a difference just like this. <laughs> see, I think honestly that does help. Like oh, you're no, aunt. you're like, you're, you look a little bit more angelic now. <laughs> you look more like a sweetie pie. Oh, okay. Aww. Nice. That's so Aww. sweet. Um, <laughs> I have to flirt more with my husband on the podcast so people stop making hate videos. You have to th- flirt with your husband on the podcast so people think you're heterose- heterosexual. <laughs> I, I have feel to like, beat the allegations. I feel like you 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 um gassing it up a lot. I don't know. You Maybe do. not on the podcast. I don't know. I don't yeah. I feel like when I'm around you guys, you you I'll are to, obviously in love know, with this person. You know where I do gas Thank him you, up? Dane. I gas him up a lot in therapy. That's where I gas you up the most, I think. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm always. I love having a singular stranger think. Hmm, You're literally the God's he's gift. Pretty epic. Yeah, true. That's good because my uh, my insecure ass. If I ever had like a, a loved one in therapy, I would mm-hmm. in my mind I'm like they're talking shit about me. I, know. I hope that Ian's talking shit about me in therapy. <laughs> what? I do. Really? Yeah, because if if here's the thing. If anybody's going to give you good advice, it's going to be a therapist. Right. So if you're talking shit You'd about me. You'd rather have it be spewed it's there. Gonna be fixed. Right. It's going to be fixed. Either no, that's you're true. going to hear that you're being ridiculous or you're going to hear that you're valid. Yeah. And then you'll come home and say, I'm valid. And I'm going to be like, well, okay, if you're valid, like I'll have to right, legitimately right. work on that. That's awesome. Like that's good. Yeah. But if you don't talk shit ever, I would worry that it's because you're afraid uh-huh. of like hearing something that you want to hear, yeah. and that's bad. I, I think the most. I mean, we've worked through so much shit. Yeah. That by this point, I really don't have much of anything to, to complain about. Yeah, to get fucking. Yeah, to like get off my chest or anything. Yeah. I think the most I've said is like, "Yeah, she." She's a real bitch. She, she, <laughs> you know, no, she like she's loud sometimes. She'll speak her mind. Yeah, which is funny because the most that I'll the the worst thing I've ever said about you in therapy is that you're a people pleaser. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, I mean, I'm I, loud. I, I started saying that a lot more in uh, in Your therapy this person. last session. I yeah. was like, yeah, I'm sh- starting to like identify my people pleasing tendencies mm. and like how that fucking gets me into trouble and it's fucks with other people's so lives. Interesting though, because sometimes you're the opposite of a people pleaser, mm. like with your parents. Yeah. Or uh even with me sometimes mm-hmm. sometimes you're not it's, you're very pick and choosy though mm-hmm. sometimes you'll like find a hill to die on and you will die on it so hard mm-hmm. that you'll bring yourself back to life to die on it again but sometimes <laughs> sometimes you you won't even say that you're upset about something that you really care about yeah so i don't really know what's going on there. interesting but it, i used to think that you weren't a people pleaser at all because right. you would i wasn't really pleasing. advocate <laughs> well you yeah, would really for advocate for yourself yeah Sometimes, like in your career, yeah. you would heavily advocate for yourself. Yeah. But then when it came to like what we wanted to do or like mm-hmm. uh, when I was feeling bad or having feelings, you wouldn't advocate for your feelings. Mm-hmm. So it's like very specific. Yeah. I just need to tap into my feelings a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I need to. Uh... Be like, I'm feeling like you're being a beep, a beep. Yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, totally. Merlin didn't like us swearing. No, he heard you, the he heard he, those. Well, he heard the swears. You guys didn't because we censored it, but Merlin heard it and he yeah. said, My child ears don't like that. Yeah, so good. Uh yeah, no, that's the most I've said about I think it's people. Yeah, that's fair. Oh man. Uh yeah, so uh what this guy's hot. he's cooking me. But is this gonna do something to my Freaking it's gonna sperm do something count? nice for your skin. I think it's gonna f- lower my uh, sperm. This is count. actually a good segue into um something that I. <laughs> He's cooking my testicles. That was man. a good joke. I'm sorry. I was so we get it. Minded. We get it. <laughs> I was trying to get him to laugh at it. He wouldn't no, laugh. No, that's fucking funny. Yeah, that's actually very you. funny. Um. <laughs> It's like, shut yeah. the fuck up about your invisible test. No, I just like you saying it twice and then explaining it. <laughs> you it know, like a, that a, hot tub yeah. thing for guys in their testicle? Yeah. This mine. <laughs> Man, bro is pissed. I love doing this to him. You can fit a lot of toots in there. Like that. <laughs> If for those who are just listening, I just uh, slapped Merlin's butt while yeah. saying that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good news, guys. You can inject salmon DNA into your skin. I'm sorry. Uh, for a really good look. Huh? Yeah. What do you mean? It's a thing. What do you mean a good look? For like a shinier, nicer coat. It sounds like a dog. Like <laughs> no, legit. I came across this TikTok. I haven't, I haven't rigged up the fucking computer so that Dane can like hear the TikToks. Uh, we can make it so that we hear and see all this you shit. Can, I don't have to hear him. You can play. I know, want. but I'm kind of a fucking. I'm kind of epic in the way that I want it to be perfect. Ian's um, all or nothing. And I want it to work, which is why he uploads for everyone. once every four months on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but yeah, apparently there's, there's this woman I came across on TikTok who was talking about the fucking the the joy that is injecting salmon DNA into the, your oh. uh, <laughs> the joys of injecting salmon. <laughs> Why don't you just eat it? Uh, because that's soluble? not doing. No, it's fucking salmon DNA like into your skin. It it's sounds like, f- fish it's oil adjacent. Okay, uh, so does it make apparently your skin... it's big in Korea? Okay, does it make your skin like more what illustrious? Yeah, healthier. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Illustrious, healthy, vibrant. Do you want to do All it together? All the fucking generic words that they use in skin commercials. Let's do well, it together. Well, you know, like fish oil. You know, fish yes. oil. Let's I know. Your... I know krill oil. Dane, that's good for your brain. Fish oil. I heard Omega that it's free. good for your skin. It makes your skin like healthier, right? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I only ever heard it know. for brains. Like really? the yeah. omega threes. Well, yeah, because I see mm. that they have it in like pill form, so you fucking suck that down. I've never heard of like rubbing it on your skin, like a topical fucking krill oil. No, wait, are they mm-hmm. rubbing it or are they injecting it? You made it sound like they're putting. Oh, like... they have. Okay, so the woman who I was watching, she said that like the elites in Korea and elsewhere are doing injecting. They're injecting. Okay. But she said, like, that she just started doing, like, uh, topical okay. uh, fish DNA, salmon DNA. Okay. I just they wrote down in my notes. DNA. Salmon nope. DNA. Why, why is it specifically DNA? It is sounds it, like it's just fish oil. Is it, like, the chromosomes? 
I think it's the chromosomes. They I don't think Dane. DNA can be a cr- be like a juice. Dane, uh, <laughs> they freaking rub stem cell, salmon stem cell on them. Salmon steam and cells. Oh, salmon Dane. stem cells. Salmon stem smells. I wonder what. Okay, wait. Now I want to look that up. Salmon DNA. It makes it sound like salmon DNA sounds- injection. The first fucking result. Here we go, baby. Salmon DNA injections, also known as polynucleotide injections. Put the cam on Anissa. Also known as polynucleotide injections, PDRNs, are a non-invasive cosmetic procedure that uses salmon sperm DNA to improve skin texture and reduce signs of aging. The procedure involves injecting small amounts of polynucleotide into the skin's superficial layers, which stimulates fibroblasts responsible for collagen production and skin health. Okay, so that's kind of interesting uh, because in America, they take your own blood and do that to your to you. Oh, adrenochrome? Well, <laughs> no. That, what's it called? Uh, well, adrenochrome is like that weird, like, fucking uh, conspiracy theory, like they scare children and then harvest their blood. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, it's Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> You're just talking about stem but, cell kind of. No, what they no. do is they, they take your own blood. Uh-huh. And they like separate the plasma or something, and then they reinject. They, it's called like a vampire facial or whatever. And then they like take like <laughs> tiny needles and like fucking put the blood back in your skin, and it's supposed to like do some of the shit. You got the this hiccups, shit sucks. Bobby? I'm sorry. Well, just, it says just good. So just go get some fucking lotion. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Wait, like why are you going through all of these steps? What? What? Because you have to kill things to get youth, Dane. You have to murder salmon. No, to get it goes. This reminds me of. <clears throat> did you ever see that uh, episode of Ellen or like a clip from El- the Ellen talk show where they had um, Michigan Geniality? What's her fucking name? Sarah Palin Buckley. Huh? Sarah Buckley. They had Sarah Buckley on. No, it was the, the lady who plays Miss Congeniality. I, I know who you're talking about. She's like Anne a famous Hathaway. actress. No, you're anyway, so close. Fuck, that yeah, pisses me off. It's whatever. It's <laughs> what it doesn't. It's some Hollywood actress. Mm-hmm. And. She was talking about how she likes to use skin cream where they take like the foreskin of babies <gasps> and Bullock. put it in it. What? Sandra Bullock. The foreskin Sandra Bullocks. of babies? Yeah. And she was talking about that like it was, she was like, yeah, it's a little weird, but I like to do it. And like everybody was like laughing nervously in the audience. What? It was like really <laughs> fucked up. Oh my God. That's fucking sick. I can imagine <laughs> that. It's like you're so, yeah. you're like you're so. Like out of touch? Yeah, out of touch. Like in the Hollywood thing, you've heard like so many fucking weird things. Yeah. That yeah, when you're in in front of like a kind of a normal crowd, you're like yeah, I like to fucking yeah. take the foreskins of the youth. And yeah, on my I fucking skin. mash baby balls in my juicer and then fucking <laughs> pour it down my gullet, and that does something. Yeah, that's crazy. What the? Fuck? Yeah. I feel like there are some people who are maybe just a little too obsessed with like that the potion of youth i'm trying to like get excited about my crow's feet <laughs> i thought you were saying i thought you were referring to like a new serum because no. you you said my uh, crows yeah. and i was like crow's my, feet my crows like what micro, is that yeah, micro, is that a new thing yeah they yeah. mash up crow's feet they mash it up they ma- microscopic crow's microbial feet. crow feet <laughs> you rub it on your crow's okay. feet. that sounds real <laughs> But I'm trying to get excited about my crow's feet. Yeah. Well, get excited because I love them because they're coming. Well, I don't. I actually I'm really I'm starting to be okay with with uh, aging. aging. Good. Genuinely, because I look at other women who are aging and the women who accept that they're aging. Uh And I'm like, you're you look beautiful. You look awesome. Mm -hmm. And some Mm -hmm. women. Yeah, I'm not. Hey. I'm not hating on fillers and Botox and whatever. Like, there's a lot of women who, like, look 50 and, like, I would believe that they're 25 and they're doing great. But I don't trust myself to make the right decisions to look like that. Right. You would rather let let Jesus take the wheel. I'll let Jesus take the wheel because if it's up to me, it's not going to go the way that I want it to go. You'd like to, you're you're letting microplastics take the wheel. I'm I'm letting microplastics and UV rays. Nice. Well, no, not completely. I wear sunscreen. That's that's like one of the more like easy to uh, avoid. Uh, Although that is kind of fucked up in a way. Like you should get some sun. I don't know. Because like that's the aging process. If you don't see any sun, your face, like, 
youth isn't necessarily beauty. No, no, I agree. Youth is not ne- is not beauty, but right. uh, I have right. pale skin and moles. Right. True. So true. I don't want sun because I don't want yeah skin cancer. Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. That's fair. And Merlin Why agrees. Why not? That sounds fun. <laughs> skin cancer sounds so people fun. <clears throat> people will, like feel sorry for you and like that's true. they'll like you. And- <laughs> And, That's like a fucking Dax Flame thing. And you can, you just <laughs> have to cut it out. Yeah. So like you get all the you know. True. If you catch it early, if yeah. you don't catch it early, you're fucked. Mm. Bro just went on to start the licking hour. Yeah, he's in the puppy licking hour. Okay, so I mean, if you guys can't get behind the salmon DNA, I'm hey. I feel sorry for you. Okay, are you doing uh, it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Really? Yeah, I need it. You I should can use it on my cheeks. He's <laughs> order if you order some and then inject it on the podcast. That would make an interesting segment. True. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that would. Uh, Ian started a skincare routine. And I his did. Skin looks great. Uh, I'm Ooh. radiant. You are. Aww. These lights <laughs> might not indicate it. No, you <laughs> are. You're radiant. You look um, handsome. You look awesome. Uh, yep. Your skin always looks good, though. I don't know. Yeah, oh, I agree. My God, Dane, you're amazing. You moisturize, so he moisturizes. I don't moisturizes. really notice. He uses <laughs> um, uh, like a light exfoliant mm-hmm. now uh, and uh, face wash. Rite Aid uh, is. Rite Aid. Not Rite Aid. <laughs> Rite Aid is the store that gives Rite the good Aid's, ice cream. Well, that's, yeah, it's an American store. Yeah. First Aid. Uh, first uh, Aid, beauty. Beauty is. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, the best. I'm not trying to suck your Coke or nothing, mm. but I mean, you see, you. Unless you have like a lot of <laughs> stop pog champing. <laughs> Go on. Unless you have like really like noticeable acne or whatever, uh-huh. I feel like most people's skin looks fine. Like I don't really mm. that's not something that really sticks out. Ah. Uh, right? Healthy right? skin sticks out. Like when you're Really? Yeah, when you're drinking water and you're moisturizing and mm. you're like getting good sleep, like you know what? I, so when people say people are ugly, I don't think people are ugly at all. I but I definitely think some people are just not able to take care of themselves in the way that even they would enjoy taking care of themselves. Mm-hmm. And if they could, the, it would be an improvement. So I like that. Yeah, I agree with that. Moisturizing mm-hmm. and drinking water and sleeping, like these are all things that a lot of us don't have the benefit of, you know, mm-hmm. doing whether it's like stress from work, mental illness, whatever. But like, if you can get into a routine where you do that, you will notice a huge difference and everyone around you will as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's in my opinion. Yeah. And I guess for me and my own uh, personal hygiene journey, it's like, for me, it's like, it's also just like, I have the ability to improve Mm -hmm. and to uh, be happier with my skin and teeth and Mm -hmm fucking i don't know body odor Mm -hmm. um so i'm trying to do that and yeah i'm holding myself to a higher standard than maybe i would when i was 25 Mm -hmm. um you know which means just doing a little bit more of everything um and uh i like it helps with confidence i'm just trying to think like whenever i think about like people that i see where in my mind i'm clocking oh this person's really beautiful Mm mm-hmm uh, that's usually like independent of like their skin. Mm. Like, do you think does so? That make sense? I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> like, and it's not like when I'm talking about like skin and stuff, I'm not talking about like acne free or like, um, you know, blemish free. There's something about someone who is fully like hydrated and like, mm-hmm. you know, getting everything that they need. That is obvious, even if it's subconscious in us, they've done like a bunch of studies that like it just screams to you like attractive. Like even somebody who's just getting enough fruits and vegetables. It's it's very much a base layer. It's a background (laughs) process. It's a background thing that like I I, they did this study where like uh, people who like eat the right vitamins or get like the fruits and vegetables that they need, like uh, they were showing their pictures to people like them you know, with their skin not getting that and with their skin getting that and, like, everyone unanimously picked right the skin that was the people were eating the fruits and vegetables because mm-hmm. um, it does something to the hue of your skin or yeah, something. and it's, it's not like it's... Uh, 
like also even like targeted or fetishized as much as like other uh qualities mm -hmm. like you know if i if someone told me or if i were to tell anisa mm -hmm. the features in her that uh attracts me to her it would be like eyes mm -hmm. lips hair tits yeah tits. uh like it, it, it's not gonna be skin skin's just no. a fucking like uh, a thing it's a canvas it's a canvas yeah it's yeah. the canvas that everything's on um but it does matter and yeah. uh it's just i but i get what you're saying dane it's not really like it's not the end or all be all it's never really it's not something that's be. like on a checklist but like here's the thing like if someone has shiny hair mm -hmm. i'm right. like whoa yeah. Like for me, I'm like, whoa, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Like it's not it's not make or break it, but it's like it definitely There's a lot of subtleties as yeah. well, right? Because you just said shiny hair and my head instantly went to greasy. No, 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 shiny. You're talking about like a healthy sheen that you would mm -hmm. see on the back of like a, or on the front of, of a pantone color yeah, box bottle. Or yeah. 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 I kind of like greasy hair sometimes, though. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, well, a little bit of oil in it, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess oily would be like a nicer way of saying it. Right? Yeah, like I have hair oil oh, in it. Oily, yeah, you know? over greasy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> greasy's kind of... I have hair oil in mm -hmm. my hair today. Right, right. Um, uh -huh. But, like, there's... I just think that everyone, no matter, like, what your base is, if you're, like, getting the things that you need as a human being, that like makes you attractive mm. you know what i mean and mm -hmm. and the like more that you can't get those needs met and the more that you like kind of fall into a everyone can be attractive and everyone can be unattractive that's what i'm saying if megan fox wasn't in the situation that she was in uh money wise fame wise whatever and like she had a bad couple of years maybe had insomnia right. and like had to go to walgreens to work every day she wouldn't be the hottest woman yeah. alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she wouldn't be. Yeah. So, it's... You can... Yeah, neglect is very visible. Yeah. Uh, distress is very visible. Yeah. Um, and we're all fighting that shit. Yeah. Like, even, you know, I don't know. We all have our fucking Well, I was battles. even just thinking about, like, I don't know, some of these situations that, like, make it a lot more noticeable. Mm -hmm. Like, because the difference between, like, I don't know, our fucking next door neighbor or something mm -hmm. and like someone who fucking moisturizes and whatever every and uses hyaluronic acid every mm -hmm. day like you know it might be like a fucking 10 percent yeah five percent difference between them or something yeah. but when we start to look at like uh tom hanks in that one movie where he's on a stranded uh, desert on uh, deserted mm -hmm. island mm -hmm. cast uh, away yeah cast away or something like that where it's like yeah, like have nothing for yeah. like uh, a month or a couple months mm -hmm. and you can start to see like, oh fuck, like there is like a greater difference. We're just polishing that last 5% yeah. and having fun with that. Yeah, basically. Um, You're just kind of like max, min-maxing, whatever the yeah, kids exactly. call it. Min-maxing? Min-maxing. It's, it's, you know, you're just getting that extra oomph. Yeah. But then there's things obviously like, you know, you struggle with like addiction, whether it's mm -hmm. food addiction, gaming addiction, literally anything, yeah. right? And like that's working against you. Yeah. Right. That Smoking. can make you look castaway level. Yeah, because it's different. hard when you have something occupying that much of your you're not you're not balanced. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you're not balanced, that's when it's like you know, mm -hmm. you start slipping. Yeah. Which sucks because we definitely live in a society where like it's very hard to be balanced. So True. it's like you're fighting. Some people make it their full-time job to be mm -hmm. attractive because you, one, for especially for women, it gives you a massive advantage mm -hmm. if you can, like, min-max your attractiveness. Uh, they did some study, some crazy study that showed that, like, losing weight for women was, like, more beneficial than getting your, like, master's degree for, like, money. That's so for fucking making money. insane. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so some people really do, like, mm -hmm. they realize the game and they're like, okay, I'm going to min-max in that way. Mm -hmm. um, but we live in a world where, like, if you want to, like, be that level of attractive, you have to, like, it's hard. Yeah. That's why it's really weird when you see people, like be shitty about like um streamers or 
or like people that like they feel like aren't doing mm. anything they're like what the hell she just sits there and like games and like she gets all this money it's like to, to like maintain the body that she has to like do all the shit for her hair the makeup like mm -hmm. the clothing the uncomfortable fucking bras and shit that she has to wear. Oh, and the people way that she's don't sitting, realize how much is involved in that shit so at all. Fucking hard to um, do. Yeah, yeah, but she's and not like lifting cinder blocks and stuff. That's true. She's not. She's fucking <laughs> in order to lifting. get my respect, you have to like lift cinder blocks and do like uh, heavy machine, like operate heavy machinery. Yeah, or true. be standing in front of freaking. The bullets. You got to be dirty. You got to no. You got to be in like front of hero. bullets, firing bullets. Yeah, American yeah. hero. Killing um, people. Yeah. yeah. Killing yes. civilians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In order to be respected. <laughs> respect. <laughs> respect. Respect. But it's, nice it's, it's crazy that, like, that is all invisible, all of that mm -hmm. effort. But it's very hard to fucking do on top of, like, hitting nutrition and, like, yeah. your skincare routine. And, like, and it's a lot of research. You know what they should do? You know what <clears throat> those kinds of streamers should do? Mm. Maybe they already do it because it's such a good idea, and I'm mm. a genius. Is you should um, uh, start the stream like right when they wake up, and then stream them getting ready for the stream, so everybody can see all the work that goes in. Here's it. the crazy thing about that: is like, Pokimane did like a get ready with me where she did her makeup and it resulted in everybody screenshotting her face oh my and sharing God. it around the internet saying she was actually right. ugly <laughs> right which is yeah. insane yeah. you just can't was, win no you can't because it's like so you show that it takes effort to do this and then everybody laughs at you for not waking up hot yeah <laughs> like anybody wakes up with like black eyeliner and like mascara yeah. and shit like yeah i i couldn't believe the response to that that was insane that would have traumatized the fuck that out of was me. viral it will it i could not escape it it was a screenshot of pokey's <laughs> face un, un yeah, makeup face. yeah i guess the only option left is for them to just stop doing it and <laughs> be my girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> you know that's, that's what true. they want i'll call bell delphine tonight and tell her that thanks that's the only option um is she even still alive? Where is she? I have no fucking clue, <laughs> to be honest. I hope she's a fucking living her best life being a CEO somewhere or something. I think she was doing van lifing for a while. No, wasn't she oh, like nice. flying a plane or some bullshit? Oh, right. I think she was, I think she was <laughs> oh, yeah, flying I a plane. Oh, yeah, I think I did. I think she I, literally some reason was that, flying a plane. Yeah, she was getting her pilot's license. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Nice. Uh, how many blocks high is your ceiling height in Minecraft generally? Like, if you needed to make a quick, uh, not not like a Five? immediate shelter. Five. Five. But like a, a shelter that is like, just like, uh, you I've, know, you have like uh, an hour to make a, a shelter. Listen, I've dabbled in Minecraft once or twice. Yeah. I said five. Dane acted like I just said the craziest shit ever. Is that's that crazy? A lot. Is that um, a lot? Uh, yeah. Four. What what is Four. yours, Dane? No. Stick okay. with yours. Okay. I'm listening to the full question, which is quickly, like you're quickly making a shelter, like that's uh, just gonna be in an like hour. serviceable. You have an hour, an hour to make a shelter. How yeah, yeah. tall is the like is this at the very beginning of the game? Uh like whenever you first load in and you have nothing. Nah, let's say it's like Let's say it's like um, you're on five hours into the game. You've already made that quick one. Oh, okay. Um, five. What? Hmm. Okay. I'm no longer a crazy person. No, you're not. No. Validated. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, my get my answer was when also you first five. started. Well, yeah, whenever you first started. The question it sounded it. like you're just like, oh, you're just quickly making like a dirt base or something. Yeah. Your brain is just like, yeah, what's how many blocks high is fucking Steve? That's how I'm making it. Can we just take a <laughs> second to appreciate how fucking cute this is? He's like cuddling yeah. the frog. Yeah, that's adorable. And he's twitching and snoring. Yeah. Like a ham sandwich. Yeah. Ian he's loves dreaming of ham sandwiches. sandwiches. He is. Oh, today when we went to the store, I'm going to share some with you guys. I bought. 
a quarter of a ham's ass. He did, yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm going to make some ham sandwiches with it. I just went to Anissa when I was saying ham's ass and ham sandwiches. Is that me? Am I a ham ass? Yeah. Uh, no. Ham's no. ass? Absolutely not. Don't tell Philip DeFranco that we got a ham sandwich in the house. <laughs> He'll get upset. Yeah. My family thought that was so fucking funny. Yeah. By the way, Philip DeFranco talking about ham sandwiches being a ham sandwich. My family yeah. thought it was so funny. Yeah. Um, what? Was, because, like, my family created ham sandwich is basically, like, there's, like, three white man archetypes, right? There's brewers, oh, ham yeah, right, sandwiches, right. and plugs. And so when we talked about ham sandwiches on um, H3 podcast, H3 podcast. It's so funny how far and wide shit like that can go with yeah. just a little bit so of... So he used the term? Yeah. Well, Ethan called Philip DeFranco a ham sandwich. Oh. And Philip DeFranco <laughs> thought that that meant that he was fat. But that's not what a ham sandwich uh, is at all. Right, right. Actually, most a lot of NHL players are ham sandwiches. It's yeah. just they fit uh -huh. the archetype quite often. Right. Um, and uh, so Philip DeFranco not, thought <laughs> we were calling him fat. That well, we sounded weren't. like you were implying that that Philip DeFranco is an NHL player. No, I, no, I just mean <laughs> that like athletes are often ham sandwiches. It has nothing yeah, to do yeah. with being fat. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, so it, you know, Philip DeFranco heard Ethan call him a ham sandwich, and uh, Phil thought he, Ethan was calling him fat, uh, yeah. or that we were calling him fat. They were. Um, this was. I think I heard about this. We were. They were calling it like Hamgate or something. Hamgate. <laughs> Hamgate. Uh, but uh, Merlin is the ultimate ham sandwich. He is. You can't um, beat him. No. I want to put that dog between two pieces of bread and take a bite. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Exactly. He. That's where he belongs. Uh, okay, now thanks for that fucking bullshit derailment. Sorry. derailment. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a bad. Uh, one. No, oh, I'm sorry. We broke you. the rules. We yeah. broke the rules. Yeah, we, we broke the rules. We've been on like theme to a disgusting amount this podcast. No, no. We talked about dogs. We're not like... going to continue to derail it okay. after I said it's derailed. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting back on the track. Whoa, what the? <laughs> <laughs> You woke up uh, early. I just made the sound you that fucking that one uh, political candidate, uh, Dean. Oh wait, who's the guy who? Um, Dane, you might know this. The guy who went rah. Yeah, that guy. That what hit Dean? It's not Dean Norris. <laughs> I don't know. But why the guy I was going. on Family Guy, they made like a joke about how we'd be living in the future if we just if he didn't do that kind of meme. Americans oh, did they make that joke? Deep lore. Yeah. This is American lore. Oh yeah, he no, he's it is very funny. Himself. No, wow. there was like a there was a politician who was like pretty much set to win, uh, like the candidacy for I think uh, what the Democrats uh, to run against George Bush, the first oh. time. Who was running against George Bush? Uh, Al Gore won. Al Gore, but there was a guy named oh, something Dean, Howard Dean. Howard Dean. Yeah, and when he was making a speech, he like made a weird noise and that, just... like got him and it got him canceled basically where they're just like that was weird let's not vote for him what? and then like it's just his career's over are you serious like it's yeah. so weird yeah you know what so Dude, that was a shit time on the internet <laughs> what the fuck I... now uh, donald trump can go and call like every candidate like fat and stupid and yeah. then he gets <laughs> gets made president so I, I mean, yeah, it's that, a different time. I hate that Donald Trump has literally said the most iconic thing anyone, any politician will ever say ever. You I've fired. No, I've never seen a skinny person drink a Diet Coke. Oh, yeah. You the, love that quote. I iconic. don't know. That shit's lame as hell. Like, my iconic. dad said that exact same fucking thing. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah cause, that's just like yeah. kind Maybe of Maybe your dad's fucking, an icon. I mean, he might be an icon for that. <laughs> It's just like maybe that's Akon. Yeah. Oh, he might maybe be Akon. Akon. I literally he, Akon. Yeah. He could, um, well, I Woo! feel like no. I feel like Sorry. that is about as deep as saying, and this is some some other shit my dad would say, and mm. I think Donald Trump would say, is like uh, <laughs> therapists and psychologists. They get into that field just to figure out what the fuck's wrong with themselves. I mean, that's true. Uh, and well, that's evidence to not oh. essentially uh, give them any weird like place. validity. That's a weird kind of place thing. to. That doesn't to make jump. any sense. Like, if you're gonna ask someone for advice on something, why yeah. wouldn't you want to ask somebody who's done it themselves yeah, to themselves? That's what I mean. That's a weird jump. Like well, when I'm basically... looking up how to do something on YouTube, I want to find somebody who's done it before. <laughs> true. That's doesn't yes. make any but sense. Maybe yes. you should call Ian's dad. 
Okay. Yeah, get Say your that. dad on. <laughs> Call your dad. <laughs> okay, I, I, I... <laughs> just kidding. Oh, oh that would be so fucking. Um, the no, I think the it, it all depends on your perspective. The mm -hmm. perspective of I imagine Donald Trump or my dad or many other that crazy men in America, many other men in America. Yeah. Um, is that they have the perspective of you're either crazy or not crazy. Right. It's binary. Yeah. It's binary. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're either homeless or you're not homeless. Yeah. Like this is, you're Batman either drug, or Joker. drug addict or not. Yeah. It's kind of like you're born into it. Batman yeah. or Joker. True, Dane. Thank you, Dane. I'm Joker, baby. He's Batman. <laughs> uh, the reason I brought up the Minecraft thing <laughs> with the blocks and all of that. Yeah. Oh, good. We're I thought that was back. just random. Because... Uh, I saw this video where this woman was describing uh, her her like boyfriend uh, in Minecraft. He makes the fucking ceiling height like one block higher than oh. his character's head, and she mm -hmm. makes her ceiling height like, like quite a bit higher. One like, block higher is terrifying. Yeah, it's like claustrophobic. Yeah, I know. But her perspective on that was that because he's a tall man. That's how he sees the rooms that he goes into. Whoa. Uh, and that's why she thinks that uh, her like ceiling height is so much higher because she's short. How tall is he? I don't know. Taller than the average, I guess. One time I dated a guy who was seven foot three. Maybe seven four. Yeah. Don't tell him that. I dated a guy who's, I went on one date. Is he famous? No, well, he should be. <laughs> He's seven foot fucking four. And we went. We could to, probably look him up just based on that. Probably. He's an Ed, he's from Edmonton. Well, I don't know if he's from Edmonton, but he Edmonton's worked. He so. worked at Earl's. Edmonton basketball players. He, no, no, no. He didn't play basketball. He played soccer. Uh, and he was seven foot three, seven foot four. <laughs> and he was a server. And we went on one date and we went to the Fringe, which is like this performers festival. And every single one that we wanted to go watch, the performer would stop and go, Whoa, hey, who's that tall guy over there? <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, What the hell? This is hell. I don't want to be part of this. And then when we go went back to, he dropped me off. He started talking about how great going to Vegas and listening to The Knife was, and then started blasting The Knife while sitting in front of my house for, like, 10, 20 minutes. And I was like... Is The this Knife is... that Swedish or... No, no. Uh... The... the uh, No. There's one... Okay, The Knife, I think, is the Swedish one. Uh -huh. There's another one that's something knife. The Bowie Knife. It, no, no. And it's like... It's like a... Centipede down down bow wow 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 oh, dubstep shit centipede bow wow oh, somebody okay. will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I basically know what you're blasting talking about. It okay. Twenty minutes in front of my house, just like jamming out. Like I don't know if he was <laughs> I was so scared. I was so done. I was like gripping the fucking like handle to like go, but it was locked. And I didn't want to like <laughs> gesture to unlock it because I was scared he would like so I was just like waiting for him to unlock. And he finally I imagine, did and, like, I got out. I imagine so you're, there's this guy you're sitting in a, in the car with and he's like going <laughs> and you're yeah. over there like yanking him. Get me out of this yeah. fucking car. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, because you're I you know, when you're sitting there you I put my elbow on the armrest and I was just kind of like doing this, you know, like, you know, fingering the fucking <laughs> handle basically. Um, yeah. But yeah, he was really into, he thought I really, he was like, this is, he didn't think, he was like, she's never heard of this shit in her life. Oh yeah. Uh, but nice. I had, and I, you know, the other one is like, you blocked me on Facebook. Now you're going to die. Oh da, my da, God. Da, that, that the, yeah. Music. Do okay. you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. I've heard all of this. So, so uh, we never talked again. I quit. Yeah. I don't know job. why I don't even associate that with a particular artist. I'm just like, yeah, that was when dubstep was big. No, it was called like Knife Par Knife Party. I think it's called Knife Party, the band. Knife okay. Party. Um, so I just yeah, that was it. Damn. The end. <laughs> like that story, Dane. <laughs> yep. You know, I, I think, once um... dated a girl who was like three foot two. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that doesn't sound as as epic. <laughs> Never yeah. mind. You might have. Well, you you wanted... have to say I once dated a girl with like F cup titty. <laughs> they basically, I could box them like a heavy bag. It's so I once epic. I once dated cleaning. like a. I once dated like a model, like airline <laughs> airline hostess, like a uh, uh, billionaire. It's gr <laughs> billionaire. <laughs> it's crazy what height does though, because all the women. 
the all the server yeah. women loved him, and he was like, uh, you know, yeah, just a guy, <laughs> yeah, who yeah. loved knife party, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, well, I I don't know. I'm thinking about it because whenever I make my I make like a temporary base whenever I start playing mm -hmm. Minecraft. Like when you load into the world and you just have to get like mm -hmm. a room to hide in. Mm -hmm. I always make that one three high because it doesn't, it's just like a cave. It's basically like a little hobbit hole that you're like hiding in. Right. I make that one three high because two feels way too short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. You're bumping your head on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's um, true. I don't think it's an accurate, uh, Litmus no. test for how tall. tall you are. You're six, like six one, six two. Yeah, and we're all different heights, is what I'm saying, yeah. and we all do five. It's also stupid though, because like you know, like if you're fucking six foot whatever, if you're mm -hmm. seven foot four, like you're still gonna fucking find a like places that have taller ceilings than how tall you are. You know? No, what I, mean? I mean not seven foot four. Go and walk into a fucking. Uh, Public library, I'm sure. It's, walk into a grand hall. <laughs> but that's a very rare occasion. You're go, in a house 99% of the time. Go walk into a government building. Yeah, walk off a short bridge. Yeah, go see how far it fucking <laughs> Go gets walk you. into the library, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fair. Though. But I'm just saying we're all different heights, and we all mm -hmm. said five, so yeah. debunked. Yeah, that's yeah, like a comfortable height. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, that's enough room... It's basically like your degrees of freedom kind of, or movement, including jumping. Can I jump around? Can I jump without bumping my head? Well, Can I jump think on about things? It. Um, think about it. Like, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think, like, Minecraft Steve is too high. Yes. So you're kind of like, you're basically two-fifths of the way up the ceiling in a five-block high house. Right. And in real life, you're about that height too mm. like maybe a little bit more right. towards the middle mm. but yeah around there so yeah maybe that's just a good simulation of like a real house mm. maybe it just says more about like his personality like he doesn't mind being like in a little like yeah snuggly little hole yeah he likes cozy he likes to be cozy yeah. i think generally i and uh, this is just my experience generally when men play that game they are all function over form mm. Uh, they don't really care about how it looks. They're just like, yeah, will this protect me from the elements and can I put my rocks in the chest? Yeah. Mm. Um, but I think when women and maybe more creatives like to play the game and they like to make it look homey, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I miss? It was a very short period of time on TikTok um, and maybe YouTube shorts was uh, AI... Uh, Donald Trump, Biden, Obama playing <gasps> Minecraft. That's that was true. really popular for a, like a, a long time. Yeah, I miss that, that format. I miss. Wow. I miss them blowing up Trump's house. That could come back. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that was, was very crazy. Was very funny. I liked. Yeah, it. you unlocked that memory. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot that happened. Mm -hmm. That was so fucking funny. Bring that back. I we heard so live. many. I I heard so many of those like playing every game imaginable. But listen, yeah. if we have to live in an AI post-apocalyptic hellscape, at least let me mm -hmm. have my Drumpf explosion rage True. compilations. True. You know, I've yeah. said. I think I said it when we were playing the the games. Uh, like dystopian stuff is is only good when it's funny. I agree. I agree. So if it's dystopian, but it's like it makes me laugh, then bring it pass. on. Pass. Yeah, you get yeah. a pass. Mm -hmm. If you make me laugh, you get a pass. If you laugh, you lose. Let's make you laugh, you lose compilations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the other thing I want to talk about, get you guys' take on this, is uh, Karato I dying. Excuse me? What? Oh, Who's shit. Yeah. You showed me this. Yeah. Yeah. There is a... I've only seen it in the form of, like, ads from the companies themselves that are doing this. Which you should... That should worry you. Which is sus. Yeah. Um, haven't seen any actual, like, you know, normal-ass people getting this shit done and vlogging about it. Mm -hmm. um, you can dye the colored part of your eyeball mm -hmm. and... Uh, I don't know how long it lasts. This one guy whose testimonial I saw from their fucking TikTok page was basically like, 
yeah, I'm on year two, and I've had no problems, and everything's great. Yeah, so to clarify, it's not the tattooing, uh, the, not the tattooing white to your eyes, eyeball. But I, I want to like share some information that I learned recently uh -huh. um, from um, an anthropologist. They were talking about eye, your eye color. People who have blue eyes don't actually have blue eyes. It's uh, the the way that light reflect reflects through and mm -hmm. refracts through the iris shows blue. Right. But if you were to cut the iris and look at it, it's actually brown. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So everyone who has there's only three true colors, I think, and I uh -huh. think it's like brown, violet, and something else. Uh -huh. I can't remember. But you have these set colors, and then it's like how the light refracts that like shows mm -hmm. blue so it freaks me out because now that i know that like there yeah it's not actually supposed to be blue right and you're wondering i think how like, do they change the color right and what interactions like if they do just have a superficial layer of like blue yeah. ink or whatever around your that area yeah. like how is, is that going to contact? interact with things or what is it i don't know well i also felt like with something like colored contacts do colored contacts impair your vision at all? They're annoying. Yeah, I would. They, it gives like a kind of a like a little bit haze almost. Mm. Like uh, I, from my experience, but you can't see the colored part. No, in your because only no. that black part of your eye. Yeah, is the thing that is taking in like light. Yeah, but if like the circle isn't big enough mm -hmm. especially when you're like right it's right like expanding and stuff uh -huh. oh it, interesting it can yeah. interfere like it you just don't get as much light so it's it's weird um that's from my experience i haven't worn colored contacts in a but long yeah, time yeah i'm gonna fucking look into this shit if any y'all know anything about it let me know in the comments it's giving aryan race oh vibes. yeah that's another fucking weird thing about it i think that's weird. why i brought it up is that it's like I don't know. I'm all for, like, body mod shit. Yeah. I, I think it's very interesting, especially mm -hmm. when it's, you know, safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this one I hadn't heard anything about, so it is clearly, like, very cutting edge. Yeah. And uh, it does make me nervous. Obviously, this guy on this testimonial had had it for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the testing is like on it. It seemed like these people were in a different country Yeah. Uh, who are getting it, and it was all, like, <laughs> brown men who were getting, like, blue eyes. Bright blue eyes. Yeah, bright blue eyes. And uh, it just looks very odd. I know that in India, it it is very sought after to have uh -huh. light-colored eyes. That's, like, very, um, like, a lot of the world, right? Mm. Western One guy had influence. gold eyes. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, he put in gold. So it wasn't quite... It kind of gave you a perception of, like, okay, it's, like closer to brown than it is blue yeah but it's like a very shiny brown it i i also saw being advertised on tiktok eye drops that are supposed oh. to lighten or change the color of your eye oh man um and there was a guy who was talking about it from like a safety standpoint mm -hmm. and he was like this hasn't actually been tested mm -hmm. uh and it's not fda approved yeah and they're selling it like confidently when yeah. like there isn't like you don't know how safe it is yeah i think our i always had the perception with these sorts of things uh that people would be scared of consequence like especially the, with your eyes well no yeah the business people yeah who are in charge of it yeah i always had the perception of like oh well like no one wants to go to prison for the rest of their life no one wants to be sued mm -hmm. no one wants to be you know, face consequences like this, because that's what I would imagine you'd be facing yeah. if you didn't test shit like this mm -hmm. and you just put it out to market. Mm -hmm. uh, what I've learned over my time on this planet <laughs> is that there's a lot of... Loopholes? Well, and... there's a lot of that shit going on where, like, some of these people, like, build their businesses from the ground up to be invisible. Yeah. Uh, and, like, that's the kind of the whole point in a lot of ways of like having your uh, company established on uh, some Malta. random island. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just feed it through so many different levels of obscurity. Yeah. You have this owned by an LLC, owned by a trust, owned by this, owned by that. And it makes it actually really hard. 
uh, for someone who doesn't want to be caught to be caught. Yeah, yeah. And that's scary. Once yeah. you realize that, you're like, oh, I actually don't have any protections when it comes to, uh, you know, seeking any kind of retribution for getting fucked over. Yeah. And that's why I'm kind of like, yeah, this I think for me, un until like at least you got some FDA thing going on, yeah. like can't really. That's fuck scary. With that. Fucking with eyes. There was a woman recently who. Uh, I think she's either a lawyer or she was, like, uh, going to pass the bar soon. Mm -hmm. um, her, like, idol had tattooed her eyes, and she decided that she wanted to have her eyes tattooed as well, but she was only going to do one just in case she went, like, blind. Oh. So she tattooed the one, uh, and then she decided, like, a couple weeks later, like, she actually wanted both, so she got both done, the, the second one, and she's going blind. blind. Slowly. Man, that's horrendous. I just, that stuff really scares me. Anything where it's organs, where you depend on them, you only have one. Uh, so, like, your eyes, your brain, yeah. your, like, fucking stomach. Can't really take that back. Yeah, like, I worry about Ozempic, too. I've heard about people having stomach paralysis from Ozempic. Interesting. That scares the shit out of me. Yeah. What does stomach paralysis like entail? Your stomach just does not digest anymore. It just stops functioning. So you, like, can't use it for digestion. Oh. Yeah. So would you then end up needing... Feeding tubes, feeding basically. Tu well, a feeding tube's something else, right? Like No, it's... I think you... Wait, I imagine... Okay, the st stomach feeding holds and, like, your... breaks the food down yeah. a bit. And then it separates it into your fucking, like... Yeah, so the stomach, intestines. like, moves. Like, it, like, moves, it churns. Okay. And puts acid in there, right. breaks it up, and then it pushes it into your That's probably our weirdest and, like, organ, yeah, if you no, think about it. Yeah, no, stomachs are fucking weird, for sure. Yeah. Um, it, I'm like, thinking about being in inside of that, and, and like, I'm like... Yeah. I think of, like, radioactive, like... It literally, like, acidic, moves shit. And it just, it's like, like, churning, churning like a washing machine yeah. full of fucking kids slime so i actually don't think of feeding tube i think you actually would have to like get nutrition through your bloodstream i'm pretty sure at yeah. that point right because people who have i don't know man it's so hard because i know you you see a lot of the uh people who are like um let me look up stomach. losing like their lower half yeah um and it looks like they wouldn't even have a stomach mm -hmm. and you're like how are they fucking stomachs functioning? are like up here yeah, okay. They're, like, high. Okay. So, at, at, I guess for someone in that position, they might have, like, a colostomy bag yeah, or yes. something where it's, like, probably. goes from their stomach to somewhere else generally, and they're still getting, like, nutrients out okay. of it. Okay, okay. So, uh, it's a functional disorder affecting the stomach, nerves, and muscles. It makes your stomach muscle contractions weaker and slower than they need to be to digest your food and pass it onto your intestines. Um. So I had a family friend who had this. And what actually happened was the oh man, when I first I'm I'm putting a trigger warning because this is fucking like really hard to listen to. I actually almost fainted the first time I heard this. Um the food sat in this person's stomach basically and they had paralysis so it wasn't digesting so they were the the food was basically rotting in their stomach and that caused them to go into like septic shock and they almost passed from it so it's um yeah i don't know it's a scary thing stomach paralysis for some reason i thought that i could get up yeah. very sneakily because i'm like oh i changed to your camera yeah or one second I was confused. He, like, got up while I was talking about I changed your paralysis. camera, and I was like... He told me, he's like, shh. Yeah, I was just like, I just need to check the time on the recording. And uh, and then I was like, oh, fuck. I just walked past, like, Anissa's camera. I was so confused. <laughs> what the fuck was I, that? I don't know why. I don't, I, yeah. I was like, I'm perfect. I know yeah. exactly what I'm doing. What a sneaky guy. I could have crawled. That would have yeah. worked. No, you could have. <laughs> yeah. That's um, true. Good try. You, yeah. gotta, you gotta get a egg timer. I know. I know. That's yeah. on the list. That's on the list. Um, but we are uh, nearing the end of this bog, or I mean, this pod already. Damn. Not the bog. Not the bog. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, be on the lookout for our Let's Plays. We played um, uh, PVZ. Shout out PVZ. Whoa, PVZ. Plans for Zombies. Yes. Nice. You, do you remember what the song, how the song went at the end? 
you are my friend and we fight the zombies together. <laughs> That's basically the vibe. Yeah. I had it stuck in my head for like a week straight. Really? Uh, I've lost it now, though. <laughs> Fuck. Look at how cute this guy is. I know. It's very cute. See, this is he's so sleepy because he has so many injections uh, in him. We are also going to have Baldur's Gate 3 mm -hmm. uh, up, I think, maybe after. I don't know. We'll have to. So the deal, I have them all scheduled already and ready oh. to go. Nice. Here's the deal. All right. Every other day is Plants vs. Zombies episode and then Baldur's Gate episode. And that nice. literally goes on every single day, uh, except for Monday, which is the day that this podcast gets up uploaded. Mm -hmm. And that'll go until uh, it's over, like we stop playing it. Mm -hmm. um, I think Plants vs. Zombies, we recorded a lot of it. Like, we literally played through the entire game. Yeah. So those episodes will be continue to be uploaded for a month and a half or something. Like, Shit. It's a long time. And then Baldur's Gate, like, I think is considerably less. There's, like, only, a, like, eight episodes or something. Yeah. So th that should go until, like, uh, near the end of this month or next Hell month. Hell yeah. Um, but by the time that Baldur's Gate is over, we should have recorded and maybe another game that we can replace with it. So basically, it, it, unless we, like, don't have any time to play games for, like... A, a moment or something mm -hmm. and we run out of episodes like there should be uh, an an episode uploaded every day mm. uh for from now until yeah we run out cool. <laughs> of games yeah. and then we'll <laughs> uh yeah. we'll start playing games again uh probably this upcoming week yeah. or soon yeah, yeah we'll find some time to to record some more um yeah and also I wanted to mention we're coming to the end of this, right? So yeah. We can do plugs for the Patreon. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. All of all of the episodes for both series on the day that episode one goes up, all of it, like in one big long video, like the full series of it, will mm. be on Patreon for Patreon supporters to watch. So if you just want to watch all of it, you can go there, or you can wait until the episodes come out every other day. And uh, yeah, and um. How would you describe them? Hmm. <laughs> Me talking way too much. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's interesting, right? Because it's like, I I mean, it's just like playing games with your freaking homies. Yeah. yeah. You know, sitting down with Did you ever homies. watch like Roosty T Rooster Teeth or like Game Grumps or whatever? Mm. Yes. It's yes. like that. Yeah. It's just like that. Um. And yeah, I don't know. It's just good vibes because we, I don't know. The, I don't know. We all obviously come from, we all come from games. Anissa, she played <laughs> League of Legends online. Mm -hmm. She played mm -hmm. Neopets. Love Neopets. She played Harry Potter and the Prisoner's Locket. I played, um, <laughs> I actually played a lot of Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Xbox. Okay. So she's handling all of that. Me over here, I grew up playing Spyro the Dragon, Monster Rampage. Oh, I played Skyrim. Dogs versus Cats. Dogs versus Cats. <laughs> the Silverback Apocalypse. Whoa. Tarantulas Unite. Dane, on the other hand, Dane has played, played TF2. Warcraft. You played World of Warcraft. Yeah, you, you left WoW out of that. WoW was <laughs> your yeah. big game. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I got I, I got a little excited. Yeah, you, <laughs> I was like, I'm started hyper-focusing cool on games. Tarantulas. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we, we all come from games and, uh, it's very comforting to, uh, to play these damn things. And I, th I think we're very excited to, oh, you just put lipstick all over his ham sandwich head. Oh, I gave him a little um, lipstick. Oh my God, dude. Uh, he looks like a victim right now. Um, uh, what was I going to say? That was sad. Sorry, Merlin. No, he's all right. No, um, I mean like we're we're all very comfortable in the arena of of yes. playing games, so it seemed like a natural fit to yeah, me. Yeah, and we have so much to share. There's so many thing games I'd love to share with you guys that um you know, I have a massive is... list. Oh, massive list. Nice. And I've been getting um, emulators working and such, so we can play old games. So yeah, if you've got any games uh, that you want to play, you too. 
Oh, no. I can find them probably. And also people can leave comments if they want to see games. Most of the games is me fighting to stay awake while we play them. <laughs> yeah, well, that 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 was, you know, it's the first two ep- two things that we did and we're learning. It's a learning process, you know. But it's... even with the editing, I'm I'm learning how to like maybe make it so that I'm cutting out more of the downtime or whatever. But one of the things that I think we learned is we should have caffeine at the ready. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. It's like um Pavlovian for me. Like when people I uh, like and care about are playing games in front of me, I will fall asleep. It's fucking comfortable. It's it is comforting. like the most comforting thing. I feel loved. <laughs> I felt like I was like, man. I literally loving... fall asleep yeah. to Hearthstone players. Mm-hmm. It, at this point, it doesn't <laughs> matter who it is. Mm-hmm. Every one of these motherfuckers puts me to sleep so long as they're playing the game that yeah. brings me comfort and they're just calmly playing it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, say it's whatever good, you though. want. I look like it's this good, guy. though. See? Yeah. yeah. Literally me. No, you. I mean, I just got finished editing all of them like really recently. Uh, you'd be surprised. You bring a lot of energy, both of you. Really? Uh, we bring, you know, it's yeah. And I'm shocked. Uh, it's 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 edited. We can cut out the boring parts very easily. <laughs> Thank you, Dane. So, Dane's always a voice Dane. of reason. Yeah. yeah, it it's entertaining, but also I think that it's good that you guys have a little bit more of a chill. Mm-hmm. disposition in these mm-hmm. uh gaming videos because at the end of the day that's kind of the the purpose of them i uh i watch um oni plays a lot mm-hmm. to fall asleep mm-hmm. it's just you know it's good uh good friend times. asmr yeah it's like it's just it's just nice to have um background noise yeah you know and that's what that is agreed so, so if that interests you just fucking keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Uh, eventually, uh, hey, we're, we're hearing you guys. I, I hear some people saying, well, I subscribe for Dax Flame. Well, don't you worry. We're going to play <laughs> Tetris, perhaps, at some point with Dax Flame. <laughs> that is the one uh, game that he knows how to play, yes. so we'll play that one. <laughs> and we'll play, oh man, will we play it. It'll be a seventy-two part series. <laughs> we're gonna beat. Te- we're gonna beat the game ten times over. Yeah, we're gonna learn the rolling technique where you roll the controller on your fucking against your hand Damn. or your knuckle, and uh, your numb skull. All right. Yeah. That's it for this pod. Okay, Merriman. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> All right, say Ooh, bye, big Dane. Stretch. Bye. <laughs> say bye, Anissa. Bye. Say bye, Ian. Bye. Wait, no, we have to do our Asa Luisa. Say bye, Merlin. Oh. Bye. All right, now. Asta. La vista. Baby. <laughs> Whoa! Merlin lunch, he's Bro. blanking.